Welcome back, everyone. Have I got a very cool knife to talk about today? This is from Forever Knives, my buddy Nolan, and it is his new production series, War Cry. And I wanted to look at the packaging really quick. I did do an unboxing, so you may have seen it, but it's got very cool packaging. Now, it comes with a patch and a sticker. And what I think is interesting, and I, I did, forgot to ask him before I filmed the video, but my particular knife has the Damascus uh, Damasteel blade and Timascus uh, handles. So I'm guessing that they put the appropriate patch in with the appropriate knife, which again, that's just a level of detail that I think is very cool. Okay, and it's got very nice cutout for the knife that I actually have over here on the side. Put that in there. Uh, and it has a cutout for the uh, metal certificate of authenticity. And then it gives you some information and date and stuff about it. So that's very cool. And then down in here, there's cutouts for extra bearings, Extra back spacer, I guess is what that one is for. Uh, no, I'm not sure. Extra clip. Um, not sure the back spacer would fit in that one. But I'm pretty sure those are for bearings. So they give you a cutout for some extra stuff, right? So you could order extra parts and pieces if you so chose. And it would all fit here in the same box. Which is just cool. I mean, it's a cool packaging and and you guys know me you've heard me talk before packaging is important so is presentation and i'm going to wipe this off because it's a little bit it, it and it's going to get messed up as soon as i put it back out here right because well that's the nature of the timascus okay and i'm okay with that so nolan i met him back in 2018 at the california custom knife show when he was doing literally just fixed blades. He had this model and I think one other model at the time. And then he had some little hex driver bottle opener, little tchotchke things that I, I know I have around here somewhere, but I could not find it. So yeah, it's in a drawer somewhere. Um, and he did a nice um, Kydex sheath. So, pretty cool fixed blade that after meeting Nolan, and you can get all the details if you go and look at my video of that fixed blade, which I will link down below, tells the whole story of how I met him, how I met his mom, how we talked about it, and all that stuff. So, I won't go into all of that here. So, let's zoom in. This is the War Cry, and it's smaller than I thought. Now, I didn't go and look up the specs. Nolan reached out. We've been friends ever since 2018. And he says, hey, I'm getting some in on, you know, Friday. Do you mind looking at one? Do you want to look at one? All of that, right? I'm like, absolutely. And I had not looked at the specs. So I didn't know how big or small it was, okay? I just said, absolutely, dude. I, I think you're cool. You're a good guy. I want to help support you if I can. So please send one in and let me take a look at it. So, Damasteel blade, Timascus shell side, titanium lock side, Timascus clip. Just really done well with a backspacer with a lanyard hole. If you're into lanyard holes, that's the perfect spot to have a lanyard. It's not in the way of anything. It's not in the way of your pocket. It's not in the way of your hand, your grip, nothing. It's just really done in a great place. Okay? So let's dive into the specs and then we'll kind of talk a little bit as we go through. Four and a quarter, closed seven inches overall. And if you saw my unboxing, the detent is a little bit light on this one, okay? You can, 
Of course, it's going to fire perfectly every time now. Even yep, See, there you go. You can slow roll this one. Okay. Now, my buddy Alex from the Knifebox channel, he has one with the plain M390 blade. And his detent is perfect. So I've talked to Nolan, and they think that it's something to do with the polished blade. Just lightens the detent a little bit, which makes sense. Kind of. So they know about it, they're addressing it, and things like that. So uh, the blade length is 2.76 with a 3.02 inch cutting edge. Okay, again, I measure the blade from the farthest tip forward of the handle to the tip of the blade. So the edge comes back below because this turns in, and so that's why the edge is longer than the blade in my the way I do it, right? Okay, it's a damascus steel blade on this one. The blade thickness is 0.139. Overall thickness is 0.493. And it weighs in at 4.1 ounces. And this one, well, all of the war cries run on skiff bearings. And I think this is only the second knife I've had in running on skiff bearings. The um, Brian Nudeau custom arch nemesis dagger that Alex lent me, I believe was also on skiff bearings. Okay, so I want to zoom in again because I want to show you inside if I can get the angle right with the light this way. They did lightning pockets on both the Tymascus side as well as the lock side. A little tougher to see the lock side. Oh, maybe if I go for the back side. So there is some cutouts on both sides internally, okay, which is cool. He's also numbered all of them. It's 11 of 20, and that's 20 of the damascus steel blades. If we really zoom in, you can see just this beautiful work on the Timascus. Does have a steel lock bar insert that also acts as the over travel stop. So that's pretty cool. Now these are made by Bestech. And so you, there you go. If you have an opinion on that, then you can have your own opinion on that. I like a lot of the stuff that Best Tech does. They just made one recently, the Togata, which I did a review on, which is an awesome knife. And they make a ton of other knives, and I reviewed several. Uh, I think they did an awesome job with this. Now, the, the clip has just one um, screw hole. But they did it really well. So it's recessed. There's a pocket cut into the titanium lock side. And then there's actually a pin and a hole. So there's a recess, a squared off recess that the clip will go into. Then there is a pin in the clip with a recessed hole in the scale that locks in. So it's keyed there. And then they've got the one screw. So the clip is not going to ever rotate or move. And the clip works amazingly well in your pocket. Just the right amount of gear. I mean, it's the, the pocket clip is perfect and it looks really nice. So on top of it functioning, that's just really nice pocket jewelry. Like there's no other way to say it. My one negative is just the size. For me, where the thumb ramp is here, it, it's, it's just a little awkward, right? My thumb wants to land right here on top in between the two thumb ramps. <laughs> so for me, this is too small. Now this was just loaned in by Nolan. I have to send it back to him at some point, which is fine. But I think I've already made it clear to Nolan. And if I haven't, he's hearing it here now live in person and posted on the internet. I want a Warcry XL. Three and a half to three and three quarter inch blade. And then, you know, the rest proportionately. 
And yeah, that's what I want for me personally. And I will buy that from you at a discount, of course, because we're friends, right? No, it's not how it works. Shouldn't get discounts from your friends because you want to support your friends. But a Warcry XL or Warcry 2.0 or whatever name he might come up with, I would take one of those. Three and a half to three and three quarter inch blade. Then it would be in my sweet spot of blade sizes and pocket carry and all of that good stuff. And I think that size would work really well for me. Okay. So let's take a quick uh, look at some size comparisons just really quickly because I've rambled on because this is, this is a new knife. I don't know. I, I didn't go searching, but I have not yet seen a Warcry video. So maybe this is the first one. Maybe not. I'm not going to claim that it is because I don't know for sure, but these are very new. So I wanted to really kind of talk a little bit more about some of the details. That's the Spider Codelica. The Quiet Carry Waypoint. I mean, you guys know all the ones I pull out. We'll just get to the chase and go with the uh, Hellraiser. So I'm very, very happy with this knife. Not the Hellraiser. Of course I'm happy with that. But I'm super excited about the Warcry. Only negative for me at all is the light detent. But in talking with Alex, um, which if you're not subscribed to his channel, you should be. He'll be doing a video on this knife pretty soon. And the size. It's just a little small for me personally. I've got bigger hands. In talking to Alex, this is the perfect size for Alex. His hand fits it perfect and he loves it. So again, being too big or being too small is really a personal choice and personal preference, right? So if any reviewer says it's too small or it's too big, you have to understand the size of their hands first and, and know how that relates to you and your hand. So always take that with a grain of salt. But yeah, Nolan, great job. Congratulations for coming this far and making it to this point. Um, I know you've gone through a lot of stuff in the years that I've known you. And I'm super excited for you in this this chapter, this step that you've taken with Best Tech and mass producing a bunch of these. It's super exciting. So keep it up. Put me down for uh, number one of the Warcraft XL. All right. Thanks, Nolan. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Please stay tuned. There is a lot of more cool stuff coming. And we will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.